I, I really love to work with paper because this material has such, such nice qualities. It's lightweight, but at the same time very strong. A long time ago, in the year 1989, it was the third semester of my graphic design studies, we had a very interesting task. We should create three-dimensional objects from paper. And I loved this topic because I always like to create things from paper. But at the same time, I had a big problem because I had no car at that time. And I had to go by train to the university. And so I thought, what could I do? Because to transport such huge buildings would have been a problem. And I thought about it for a day or so, and then I, it came to my mind, it would be a good idea, idea to make them collapsible. And from that time on, I started to create pop-up cards. My very first sketches for even the most elaborated pop-up cards, the first sketches are always very ugly, very simple, and I'm developing them from a very easy state. And I'm not solving 20 problems at a time, but step by step. And this peacock thing, now everybody says, oh, that looks nice. Yes, but I, didn't, I haven't shown you the 20 ugly things that I made before. Uh, so the best thing I can tell for people who want to learn something, don't give up if you fail, because I myself fail a lot of times. Many artists that create pop-up cards are interested in, telling, in telling a story or creating something that, that looks like reality. But the thing that I'm mostly interested in is the movement. So it's, if everybody asks me or anybody asks me, if, what shall this look like? What is it? I can tell you. I cannot tell you. It's just to make the movement the beautiful thing.
It's always the same. I, I opened pop-up cars for so, for so many years now, but it's still the magical moment. It's the kind of wonder. You have some kind of just stuff. It's, it's, it's dead material, but you grab, your, grab it with your hands and you move it a little bit and something appears in front of your eyes. It's always like, like a magical moment.